Sudhanshu Trivedi of the BJP, DP Tripathi of the NCP, Randeep Surjewala of the Congress, Gaurav Bhatia of the SP. My first question is to Mr. D. Raja of the Communist Party of India. Thank you very much. Part of this third front. Now, let us bust a few myths, uh, Mr. D. Raja. First is this myth that this third front is a conglomeration of anti-communal forces, right? Did you not describe the Samajwadi party? It is neither... A no, did you not describe the Samajwadi party as a party which failed in its responsibility, which did not deliberately intervene and was not vigilant, which led to the communal violence in Muzaffarnagar? Having said that, how can you share the stage with the Samajwadi party and call this an anti-communal alliance? Firstly, what happened today was a national convention against communalism for people's unity. Of course, there were non-BJP, non-Congress political parties, forces sharing the common platform. We sincerely believe there is a growing danger from the communal fascist forces. They pose a threat to the unity and integrity of the country, to the harmony of the people, to the secular fabric of our democratic republic. So the situation demands all the secular democratic forces must come together and isolate the communal fascist forces Mr. Raja, in order to protect Mr. the Raja, of the Mr. Country. Raja, first, no, first, I am first coming let to us the second, put some facts on the table. The, let I us put some facts the on the point. table. Mr. Raja, no, I am is, is Mr. Gaurav Bhatia's party an opportunistic party? Please let us get... Is Mr. Gaurav Bhatia therefore an opportunist? Is Mulayam Singh Yadav an opportunist? Is the JDU an opportunist? Is the... Are they opportunists? You see, if Arjun, you look at the... May I come in? No, no if you look at the history of several parties, they were with uh, either Congress or BJP in the past. But we do not dig out the past. We Why? address the challenges of the present. How convenient. We address the threats how? which are coming. How convenient, no, how, 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 how convenient this is Mr. Raja. Never, how convenient this is Mr. Raja for you to no, say no, that. Samajwadi party. How listen, convenient. Samajwadi party never aligned with. Samajwadi party Mi never aligned with BJP Mi in Mr. the past. Mi Mi Let Mi us Mr. Raja, you know, you know, this Having is this is the unsavory truth. About this is the unsavory front. truth of Indian politics. Gaurav Bhatia, before you come in, let us be clear here today. No, that it a is, few weeks back. No, no, one second. No, it is true. On the 14th of June. On the 14th of June. I am telling you. On the 14th of June, the left parties called you opportunists. Right? On the, 20, no. uh, on the 30th Arda. of October, you want to tell the people of this country that you have a, you will offer an alternative to this country? Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, you were called opportunist by the left front 12 weeks back. Arnab, what I can tell you with utmost confidence is that the Samajwadi party has always shared a relationship of a lot of confidence and trust with the left. So, uh, therefore, if somebody calls us by a name, I would uh, would like not to comment on that. Why? But today, the more important thing is that something that the media also never thought would happen, which the BJP never thought would happen, which the Congress never thought would happen, that before the elections also, this momentum that has gained strength and 14 parties could come together on a common platform to show that they do not want a communal this is, party is this a common platform or is this an attempt at I black is this an attempt at political muscle uh, flexing negotiation i mean be honest here today gaurav bhatia Arda, be honest if, be be honest Arda, if, if be honest one, don't don't give me rhetoric clear, Arna, yes one thing is clear even going by the surveys that your channel has shown that the regional parties would be doing very well in the coming elections you know and the People of this country have rejected the Mr. Congress Gaurav because Bhatia. it is a government of scams. And the BJP 
it does not inspire confidence mr bhatia what are you talking about mr mr bhatia what are you what are you talking about mr bhatia one minute the the fact of the matter is yeah. the left parties said you are an opportunist Mr. Raja's party said you, you are, are an opportunist, to an and your you no know, one minute one I see Mr. Raja is smiling because he knows that the two senior left leaders and your leader. I, I'll just remind you and refresh your memory, Arnab. Uh, Mr. My, Prakash, there's nothing wrong with my memory. Karan recently called Samajwadi Party a trustworthy partner. There are other left leaders. Mr. D. Raja himself in the past has always. Uh, uh, praise the Samajwadi Party. There are other left leaders who have now, done that. Now let me refresh so your memory. You only referring to one. Let me let me thank you for refreshing my memory. There's good, nothing wrong with my memory, but there's something wrong with, with yours. And, no, no. and your comments would make no difference Mis to us. Mi Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. What is more important today? Mr. Bhatia, let me refresh the your most memory. The important point is. And to refresh your memory, I I, I, I know all the facts, Arnab. No, you no, don't no. need to refresh my memory. No, you, you know can, your you facts, but you are being Mr. selective Prakash with your Karan facts today. You see, no, no, you know your facts. In you, and you, you, you know your he facts. Said that the Samajwadi Party is a trustworthy ally. Mr. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, you are giving Please repeated. Please look into that statement. Mr. Bhatia, can I say one thing? You know, you know your yeah. facts. You don't want to reveal some facts. A few days back, Mulayam Singh Yadav says, forget the third front. There is no third front possible. Mulayam Singh Yadav said there is no third front. You want to paint this rosy Mr. picture Mulayam today? Mr. Singh Yadav, I know what so my what party happened? leader said, Arnab. What, so I what know, happened? I know what Nandi. my party leader said. Le so I am only exposing what yes. your party leader said. And, and instead of trying no, to... No, I'll, I'll answer in, your question. Instead, instead of trying to do the politics of the third front, it would be much better, Gaurav Bhatia, if you worried about the situation in Muzaffarnagar. Where as I bring this report today, I, there are reports Arnab, of I further think, clashes uh, happening in I that think area. I the Samajwadi Party government has taken care of the Muzaffar Nagar incident now. And Abs we will do everything that is required to be done. But don't get the Muzaffar Nagar incident every time we discuss any other topic as well. Well, the Muzaffar Nagar... I'm we only... don't need to learn our politics from you. The Samajwadi Party knows what politics is all about. Two, we, two. If there are 14 parties... In the country, you want to come together and give an alternative government to the, the other side the now. And I'm going to what Sudanshu Trivedi. 13 parties, 14 parties, 15 parties. I don't know how many parties there are there. Sudanshu Trivedi, your response the very fact that 14 parties stand together and they call for a co convention against communalism, which proves that however much you want to play down communalism, it is a relevant subject. People will come together on the issue of communalism and you will probably find yourself isolated if these people who together have 120 to 150 seats after the next elections don't work with you. Actually, it doesn't matter how many seats they are going to get. Because if you look at the ground reality, as a student, of, a student of mechanical engineering, I can say for any system to sustain, there are two things required. One, there has to be a center of gravity. And second, there has to be a binding force. In political terms, you can say, if an, any political party is coming together, there has to be a point of convergence, either on political ground or on social ground or on ideological ground. Nothing is there in between these two parties. No, a convention can against communalism, that's the point of convergence. Between? Okay. If you I come on the communalism, the all the most of these there parties at one well, point or the other remained an ally of BJP or the Congress. All most of the parties, not true, even Samajwadi Party. No, we, we have never shared. Well, power I would like with to ask when first time. One minute. First time when Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav became Chief Minister of UP in 1989, it was with the support of 56 MLAs of BJP. And after firing in Ayodhya in 30th of October and 2nd of November 1990, BJP withdrawn support, then Congress supported with their 96 MLAs. So at one point of the time or any point, one of the parties have got support. So it is just a mere opportunistic alliance on a wheel of secularism to just for their convenience. In the fact, they are so mutually exclusive that they can never point, have a point of cohesive, so they can only be they can only no, be this, there is no doubt the like pure you have said in the mirage it pure pure opportunism is the charge now look at the ncp pure opportunism mr dp tripathi which side are you on 
You want to be the third front? You want to be in the government? What side? You want to be part of the central government? You want to be part of the state government? Then you want to say we want to have a concept of a third front? You want to flirt with all sides? Which side are you on, Mr. Tripathi? No question of third front. We have always maintained consistently that we do not believe in third front. Then why have you kept the door open? We have also maintained that we are for unity among the secular parties. Please let me say now. See, the, in, in Kerala, for years, more than 10 years, we have been part of the left democratic front and not the Congress-led United Democratic Front. In 2009, we contested elections in, in, with some political understanding with BJD in Orissa. So, with various secular parties, we have political alliances. This is not a state-level convention, is it? This is not a state-level convention. But this is not a state level no, convention. No, this is not a state level convention, but this is a national level convention. And therefore, it was obvious right from the very beginning. And Mr. Prakash Karat wrote in his article that this is not a platform for the third front or the fourth front. This is a broad based political platform for mobilizing. What do you mean, broad based political platform, Mr. Tripathi? Why are you confusing unity? people with words? What do you mean by a broad based political platform? What confusing? Why does this I'm not confusing at all. I think you are confusing. No, I think you are confusing I think it. You are confusing. I'm not confusing. No, no, I, I think. What did Prakash Karat write in People's Democracy before this convention was held? He wrote that this is not for third front, this is not for forming any political front, as a matter of fact. He said that this is just to mobilize political parties and democratic opinion. This is standard and NCP tactics. Sorry, Mr. Tripathi, you, you know, you, you, this is standard NCP tactics. St they when you want to bargain hard with the Congress party, when you want to bargain hard with the Congress party, you... presided over by eminent historian Professor Irfan Habib and was not presided over by any political leader, by the way, this convention. Look at the resolution of the convention. This is, Does you, it talk this, is this a group friends? of NGOs meeting or political parties meeting? Is the group of academics meeting or politicians political parties meeting? meeting. But, but no, then no, of course no, no, it has a political it is purpose. What is its political, political purpose? Political parties also meet on issues. What they issues? Meet on issues. The issue was, issues is uh, people's unity against communalism. That is the issue. The issue is not to form a political front to fight elections today. That was not the issue. Really? You make it out as if people are just forming a third front or fourth front or no, something. No, of course not. Whereas political leaders are categorical that we are not forming any front. Well, this I, is you, a broad based me, me, you know, platform. I, I'll only tell you this. For I'll tell you. I'll tell you communism. this. I'll tell you this straightforward. This is Sharad yes. Pawar's standard tactic. Yes. Ahead of elections, he starts flirting with proponents of the third front. This happened in 2009. It is happening in 2013 and everybody will see through it, Mr. Tripathi. Even you are seeing through it. You are just keeping a straight face on the reality out here. But Randeep Singh Surjewala, look here. The UPA what is getting reality? weaker. You decide the, the and U then you make certain observations which have no basis. Well, I, I have absolute basis. This happened in 2009. You prove me wrong. In April 2009, did he not attend a third front rally in Bhuvaneshwar? Did Charat Pawar not attend a third front rally in Bhuvaneshwar? But it was it was not a third front rally, by the way. What it was it? It was all those parties. I was present there. You were not present. I was present but there. But I, I know, know about it. You uh, were not referring to it. What did we say? No, no, you know about it. But I was present there. I was participant Sir, the there. Fact is, and that you know, meeting was for all those political forces which were supporting I, the BJD-led... Uh, I, 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 Mr. 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 Tripathi, Mr. Tripathi, Mr. Tripathi, Mr. Tripathi, the fact is, today, the third front does not even know what is the third front. So it was a political meeting, admit it, Mr. Raja. It's not a meeting of NGOs, admit it, Mr. Raja. Admit it. Why do you have these meetings during a general election? It was a political, no. No, it was a political meeting. BJD leader was there, Mr. So? Navin Patnaik. Mr. Sharad Pawar spoke on uh, Thank you. Uh, telephone. In fact, I was holding that telephone. Yes, exa and, uh, excellent. Bring out the inside details. Ali Bardhan was present in that meeting. Very good. So uh, That is what happened in Bhuvaneshwar that day, what you are referring to. No, no, but, but, but Mr. Mr. D.P. Tripathi is telling us it's not a political meeting all the time, repeatedly saying to Mr. D.P. Tripathi... No, who says it is not a political meeting? It was a political meeting. What I said no. it is not a third no, it front It was a political meeting. meeting. It was meeting, political meeting, obviously. We were in the midst of election campaign. How can it not be a political meeting? So? I mean, I'm amazed. 
So th that's the precise this point. This was not a third front meeting. That's all I said. No, no. It, whatever you may call it, what third I front, fourth front, front ex front, front y front, front doesn't meeting. matter. The fact is that you do these things to just negotiate to give yourself some leverage. But my question to Mr. Surjewala is this, Mr. Surjewala, even the NCP is leaving you before the election. The NCP leaving. is leaving you before and the I'm election. Not. The NCP chief shares the dais with the former BJP president, Mr. Gadkari. He says there are no untouchables in politics. Are you worried that a lot of people are fleeing a sinking ship? I have two quick things. Firstly, uh, Mr. Nitish Kumar, the chief minister of Bihar, while speaking at the convention, and uh, our very, very senior colleague from NCP on this program, and many others have clearly said that there is no question of a third front at this juncture. We should leave the speculation at that. Secondly, I want to make a very quick point. It is uh, what is being proved is what Congress has always maintained. RSS ideology of divisiveness is in this country is creating communal disharmony right at the bottom of the pyramid. And naturally, many political parties with secular ideology are concerned about it.